This is gonna be Scott. Hello, Scott. Scott, I think Scott's dealing with a flushy hand here too. Hello. Well, not like two, but we're talking about flushes. Hey, hey, yeah. Uh, can you hear me? I can. Yep. Awesome. Uh, my condolences on your dog. Was no, I appreciate rough, that. I appreciate that. deal. So, anyways, um, I'm up. I was up at Lincoln City uh, Chinook Winds Casino in Oregon. Okay. Well, that's that's and, a place I've never heard of. Yeah, so they run a tournament series twice a year there, once in the spring and once in the fall. That's really good for like okay. a week. Um, and the cash is just like just absolutely popping every single time, like unbelievable. So what's the size of the game? It's two five. Okay. Uh, ten dollar straddle every now and then, like maybe a third of the time. Okay. Um uh eleven fifty effective. And I'm in the hijack with King Ten of Diamonds. Okay. Um, had two limpers to me. I think they were like under the gun and under the gun too. Mm -hmm. Um, it was pretty passive, uh, mm -hmm. sometimes. <laughs> and so I raised to 30 and the small blind calls and I, one of the other limpers does, he's a really, really passive guy. So I didn't, didn't like setting off any alarm bells or anything. So this hand is straddled by the way. Is that right? It is not straddled. It's, it's no, not just, straddled. Just, okay. Just uh, just two five. I was gonna say because like that's kind of small, right? At oh 5, yeah. 10. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Over yeah. To thirty, but that makes sense. So, just straight two five. Sometimes straddled, but this hand's not straddled. Mm -hmm. Hero in the hijack to king king ten of diamonds. Two limps makes it thirty. Love like yep. it, right? Get get yourself the button. Good enough hand. Yeah. Small blind calls. First limper calls. Okay. A lot of people open to like twenty five, so mm -hmm. I like to go a little bigger because they call anyways, and then I don't go five ways to the flop. Right. So pot's like maybe 95 or 100 or something yeah, like that. I think it was like 115, something like that is what I have written down. But who knows what the lumpers. Okay. Anyways, so flop comes out, queen of diamonds, ten of spades, seven of diamonds. Queen of diamonds, seven of spades, excuse me, queen of diamonds, ten of spades, ten seven of, of diamonds. So you have middle pair and a flush draw. Correct. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it checks to me. Okay. And uh, people had been folding to see bets pretty regularly. And obviously, yeah. I've got 10 equi equity. So, anyways, I fire for 45, like whatever, third pot or something like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, the small blind calls and the other limper folds. Small blind calls, up front limper, so limper folds. So, small blind is, uh, you know, next to act. I, I tried to stress this a bunch in the CLP podcast. From um, this, from last week when I was talking about, um, when I was actually talking about whether or not to bet that you get into these situations where you have an over pair, you have the betting lead, and you're up against somebody, and then top pair pairs on the turn, and you don't have it, like aces, kings, queens, right? The board comes out like jack, five, deuce. Now it's a jack, and somebody checks to you. Yeah, and this, right. this, you know, as a situation that happens, it's like, well, do I check it back all the time? Do I bet? So I tried to lay out. A number of different things to look for um in that spot and in the i think the number one thing that i talked about was flop call configuration what does that mean it means where the person called from was he next to act were there people behind him because that should really dictate how top pair heavy they should they should be right like your head's right. up against the big blind they can have a bunch of bullshit, right but if you're under the gun right. and then plus one calls your flop bet c bet right with like three people behind him he's going to be weighted towards a lot of top pair plus right. the only way i bring that up is just because the small blind calling next to act here um is now i mean people can obviously be much much wider than just top pair but it, it is slightly stronger here when you think about what small blind say flat calls pre it wouldn't surprise me if he has a queen you have a 10 you know you block diamonds so it's probably the most likely holding obviously he could have like you know king jack jack nine things like that but just something to be said okay yeah yeah so he had been really passive he'd kind of yeah. come back and forth from the table so he hadn't played a lot of hands didn't have very much information but he definitely felt like it was queen heavy when he did it when he called he could have obviously a flush draw too right ace yeah. x uh, of diamonds could be a hundred percent yeah yeah and that's uh, a lot uh, of that's a lot of because you know when people play up and down aces right that's a lot of hands all the way totally yeah yeah um so okay. anyway so maybe 200 he, or so and change to the flo to the turn yeah so i've got 255 um, 250 you there were only two people that called right are you and uh, you put in 90 on the flop 
Yeah, I think it was 120 on the flop, and then it was 45 and 45. It doesn't matter too much. Uh, but Maybe like 210 or something? Okay. Yeah, somewhere in there. Anyways, right. so the turn is the jack of diamonds. Okay, so the jack of diamonds comes on the turn. So you make a flush. Queen of yep. diamonds, 10 of spades, 7 of diamonds, jack of diamonds. You make the second nut flush. Yep. And that's a pretty strong hand. Okay. Plus, also, too, the but, jack interacts with a lot of queen X types of holdings here. So right. I, I like yeah. the card. Yeah. They're, they're definitely, yeah, some straights that could have come in. I don't know, you know, depending on this player. Uh, but something that kind of crossed my mind, uh, and it's not relevant to whatever comes next, but when I saw that card, I said to myself, um, what, uh, you know, if there's another flush out there, what other mm -hmm. combos are there? And I'm like, they're, you know, all the broadways are gone. So it's like, there's ASEX stuff. And then there's like, not really anything else. So it was like, that was kind of a, you know, a weird card. If I was facing diamonds, you know, like that little monster under the bed thing in the back. Yeah, of no, I mean, that's a good point. I was going to go into that when I was reviewing the, 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 you know, and you graphically display this, you can see queen of diamonds, 10 of spades, seven of diamonds, jack of diamonds, hero has king of diamonds, 10 of diamonds, where it's not like hero, like had opened from cutoff with like king five of diamonds where like 10 right. of diamonds is possible. Like the queen, yeah. the king, the queen, the jack and the 10 are all <laughs> accounted for. Yeah. So the small blind has to like, he would, he has to V pip a suited connector, which is possible. Right. But there are like, say he was only V pipping direct suited connectors, like ones without gaps. Right. Right. Th right that's right. really only eight, nine. It can't five, be a six. seven, right? The seven's out there. Exactly. Yeah. So, so it's five, six, eight, nine, eight. five, four. So yeah. I think we're on the same page here, right? There's a lot more up and down ace axes, right? Oh, one hundred percent. I definitely yeah. see a lot of a lot of flat calling with those. So yeah, yeah. Anyway, so he texts to me in flow. Um, okay. And I and I bet one twenty five. So small blind checks hero bets one twenty five. I wonder about the sizing. So you kind of go in like half the size of the pot ish. Yeah. I think I would go large here's here's my take on this because i've obviously i watch a lot of live poker that's sort of equivalent to this level yep i think i would take a larger sizing here because and it's and it's different than if the turn was like the three of diamonds the reason why not only just the blocking properties of other diamonds but I, I, like i had said before i don't see a whole lot of people just fold king queen here on the turn yeah like uh -huh. if you go 175 to 185, even if they don't have a diamond, they're going to be open-ended now. Plus they could have made two pair, right? Sure. So I, I just think you're getting that value from a lot of hands that call. Again, it's really just the nature of the the fact that it's a jack. So I would have gone larger if I were you, but okay, so you go 125. What would you do? Like 160, 150? I think I'd go 180. Well, I would do a chip, another small stakes exploit. I would, I would chip spike. Which is, I would probably bet with two one hundred dollar chips and say, one eighty, one eighty five. The reason why I do that is because I try to get large denomination chips at this level into the pot because I find that players who are recreational players are not calculating pot size. So you want to make when you have a very strong hand, you want to make it easy for them to look at the size of the pot if they continue because it will lead to more frequent calls when you make large bets on the river. So that's what I would yeah. do. I listened to a little bit too much Crush Live Poker because I, you know, I didn't do 200, but I did use a hundred dollar chip for that purpose. So for 125. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that's, uh, anyways, so, uh, he calls relatively. He calls. Quickly, like, he calls. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. So small line calls. He does call. He does. So now we're and, at like maybe 460, maybe a little bit more, whatever, somewhere around there. Yeah. Yeah. And you guys have yep. put in. So you guys still have like 950-ish left, something like that, 125. Yeah, 950 left. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So, um, you know, it's like, well, that's interesting, you know, like obviously we what we talked about, there's definitely stuff available, not just, you know, flushes. Mm -hmm. And so the uh, river comes out the five of spades. Okay. Well. So, so again, queen of diamonds, 10 of spades, seven of diamonds, here has king, 10 of diamonds, C bets the flop, small blind next act calls, turn, hero makes the flush, jack of diamonds, queen of diamonds, 10 of spades, seven of diamonds, jack of diamonds, check, hero goes 125, small blind calls, five is the brickiest, river's the brickiest brick in the world, five of spades. Okay. Yep. Uh -huh. Yep. So then the villain, uh, I don't think it's more than maybe 10 or 15 seconds. 
mm-hmm. grabs a big stack of green, puts it out, and bets. Green is twenty fives, right? Correct. Yep. yep. And bets three sixty. Wow. Kind of donks and just Small donks into me. Donks three sixty. Yep. I think we've talked this one through even before this river decision here. I mean, I'm not folding, but if we hadn't talked it through, I would talk about it now. We'd go over it, but I think this is just a call. Yeah. I mean, you were thinking of uh, folding, right? I, 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 and that would so, be a massive explanation. <laughs> so, so, so I didn't, I didn't think about, well, you know, it crossed me my mind for like a 10th of a second. And I was like, this is just this, you know, who knows what kind of, you know, ape shit this guy's doing. Like, anyways so i i think i thought for like 15 seconds and i was like well this is probably really gross and then you know just flicking it yep and uh uh, he did have ace three of diamonds yeah and what i was going to say about that too is is that you know we we were talking about on a previous call some some like live patterns to what is strong in live poker previous call we were talking about back raising right that's a strong Mm -hmm. play in live poker this line is unbelievably strong yeah. as well you call this what is this line it's check call check call lead huge when nothing changes yeah and what you and this is a this is a common common spot for this type of line where a, a nut flush is a common spot for this line check call check call blast another yep. common spot is when someone's like full you know what i mean like say somebody yeah, yeah. Like, f- someone's like you know they had pocket nines and it came out like nine deuce deuce Yep. And you bet, let's say you had uh, aces or kings, right? And you bet mm-hmm. nine deuce deuce and the small blind called. And then the turn was a five and you took like, you're like, oh, this guy's got a pair. Like you took two thirds sizing on the turn on nine deuce deuce five, right? And he calls. Mm-hmm. And then the river yep. is like a seven. And then he just blasts for like three quarters pot at the end. I mean, that that example, there's some sort of straight in there. But I think you know what I mean, right? Like it's like, oh, and he yeah. turns over nines full. Uh, that's common too. <laughs> or quads. Yeah. Um, so, so I was, yeah, I was, I was pretty irritated with myself because it felt like that, like a lot. And then, you know, I had that, the thought that what other, you know, flushes is he doing with this with? And, mm-hmm. um, and so the villain, he kind of got upset that I was, I was talking and was irritated that I'd made the call. And he's like, you know, how could you ever fold that? Like, or even consider folding that blah, 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 you know? And uh, it was very clear after that how poor of a player he was. So it was it was it was very difficult, you know. And I guess that could lend itself to you know, I guess I should say he was nitty, right? Like I it was it. a nitty nitty play by him. I'll, I'll just I'll just end with one thing, Scott. And I I don't know how often do you uh, how often uh, how often do you play poker? Uh, I play probably two or three times every two weeks. Okay, so you're like you know maybe a for-profit recreational yeah. player, right? All the way, yep. I, I'll leave you with something where, and, and I am sometimes guilty of this too. If you take a look, and I think Andy Stacks is a, is a good example of this, or Garrett when he played on live streams. If you yep. take a look at some big, big winning players, and I know it's hard to do, but I would really, really hesitate if you lost that hand. If you just called, okay? I would mm-hmm. really, really hesitate to show your hand. I would just mock and move yeah. on. And yep. there's a number of reasons why. It's because it kind of gets the guy a little bit dished out of whack. How can you just call? Mm-hmm. Even though it might not be your intention, it yeah. might be interpreted as you are showing him up by just calling with the second nuts. Like you are better than him, even if that's not your intention. It's all what he interprets it as, right? So yeah. in a situation like that, I would tend, if you can think about it, to avoid doing that. Um, just that makes overall a, for that makes, game. that makes a lot of sense actually. Yeah, and that would make sense why he got pissed because of that. And yeah, that, thank you. Yeah, yeah. No, hey, uh, just one last thought here too. So if he checks the river to you, I assume you're going to bet. Mm-hmm. And then if he check raises you, it becomes a much easier. If you've got money behind, oh. like fold, right? <laughs> oh I, no, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Your the, your bet folding strategy it makes so much money. So. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. All right, thank you very much uh, for the call. Appreciate uh, it. Scott. Quick question: yeah. Can I add one more thing? Sure. I was talking to my friend about it, and I felt if he blocked that to like two hundred or something, you could you could see raising that, right? Or would you still just call? 
<sighs> you mean if you went check call, check call block? Yeah. Yep. God, that's, yeah, I mean, that's one of those ones where it, 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 you don't normally see a block with the nuts at the end. Mm-hmm. And I think it really depends on the river, too. Like, if the river brings in more stuff and I get blocked, I would definitely raise. Like, if the river was, like, um, you know, like, like a, a king st- or an ace. Yeah, but you know what I'm saying? That's straightening card, yep. yeah. Yep. Yeah, and then he blocked. Like, I, I would definitely raise. But, I mean, on a five, it's... It's just really strange, right? Now, you sometimes get owned if you just call and you get shown down like Queen Jack or something like that, right? But it's just not something that happens all that common when the other guy has the nuts, like a block at the end. So, Yeah, so that, yep. I like it. Perfect. Thank you so much. All right, Scott. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it.